right guys so I got this from the Dollar Tree it's a metal flag pole now I do want to make something out of this guys but like everything I'm not sure if it will turn out like that I got my perfume spray over there <laughs> so this is just what I want to show you what I want to make is I want to make a bike but I want to make half a bike on the wall for the springtime so I went ahead and took the piece off here and this is going to be my wannabe handlebars <laughs> but I don't know if I should turn them up or down and then I'm going to try to add like a little basket and a little wheel. Okay guys, so to be honest with you, the biggest struggle was bending this thing, so I needed help from the hubby. Um, trying to get it to be like a wheel, but that's kind of where I'm at with that. And then again, I told you the leftover pieces were gonna go in here as the spokes. But I do gotta cut them off into these spokes here and I think I'm gonna put a piece of shiplap in the back of it so this is what I have so far I'm thinking like I'm thinking that the middle part could be just a little too skinny so I think I might go back and get a few more a few more and um, Kind of make it a little thicker in the middle okay guys so i did have to add tons of glue here but i'm gonna end up painting that black and it's only for my wheel to the spokes so it could look like a little wheel so i'm not worried about that but this is how it, it's turning out so I want it to stand up like that. So it's going to be a side okay, guys, So this is my handlebars. And as you can see, there's still like chunky glue on there. And excuse the mess, guys. But when I get to going, everything is a mess. And then there's a lot of uh, glue still here on here, as you can see. But I'm going to be painting that. And this is how it's uh, turning out so far without my basket. <clears throat> I'm going to be cutting this piece of shiplap I have, but this is how it's turning out because I'm still undecisive about what basket. This little basket I got from the 99 cent store, but I think, I think it was like $2. So I thought I could put some little goodies in there. And, or... I was thinking of getting the Dollar Tree basket and painting it pink, like having a little pink basket. Not sure yet, but I think, oh, and then I'm gonna show you. Remember how I told you that it had all that glue? So I went ahead and spray painted it black. So it kind of blends in a little bit. Got my little wannabe handlebars there. But the basket is what makes it this is me just holding it up because i'm so excited about it i just want to fix it up already how cute for the summer this would look so cute in your backyard and your little gallery wall you name it it's gonna be hung how cute. Guys, I think that you could even put a little basket like this on there. I think it would look cute as well. Like a little planter. So this is gonna go up on the shiplap. I'm just showing you guys here on the side how there's different ways we could do it. So my husband found this, or he cut this, it's like a piece of aluminum, and we're gonna try to stick it up here for the fender of the bike. So I'm not no expert on shiplap, but I'm kinda gonna go with this picture frame. 
this kind and I'm gonna kind of measure this kind of is the same size so I'm gonna try to measure out this poster board for the ship lap of my bike and this is an idea I'm giving you because I already do have a ship lap but in case you don't have one and you don't want to spend a lot on it so I'm kind of going by this so I'm still drawing out the line Okay, and if you have a ruler, it'd be even better. I'm just kind of going by this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but <laughs> this is what it is, and I'm going to go over the lines with the Sharpie. So this is what I'm working on, and in some little areas, I'm kind of drawing in so it looks a little bit more wore down I guess you could say and I still have to do these little lines here hey friends here we go I did add the rope to the basket and there is a little bit of glue still sticking I want to try and do three different ways I want to do like a little farmhouse bike and then a shabby chic one and maybe like a succulent one but we'll see right now I'm gonna be gluing the top to the bike the fenders little top here I just added some glue but I'm gonna have to repaint it again because of the glue just like I showed you guys last time so it could look like that this is where I'm going at with this. Okay, some somebody commented that I talk too much or something like that, but the thing is guys, when I'm doing a DIY, I'm doing it with you. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just go with the flow step by step. I I haven't even planned none of this out. And so if I keep repeating myself or this is just getting off my nine to five and headed to do these videos that I love for you guys and without even giving it a thought. That's why I'm back and forth because I'm, I'm not sure. I don't really have a plan. I don't have a plan, guys, but I mean, it's just, this is just the way I do it. Friends, this is how my little bike turned out. And I haven't glued it down yet only because I want to do a different look as well. I also wanted to show you that if you don't have a basket, you could even put one of these Dollar Tree little bins. And you know this is my favorite basket for it. It's more of the shabby chic look. I really like this one, but I'm going to do that one after. And I kind of wanted to add maybe something on there with letters. And I am showing you sideways but this is how it is because the bike is mainly sideways another way that i displayed these little octagon shelves i went ahead and put one of those coasters in there and i think it goes really cute with this little decor here that i have Okay, so I wanted it to look somewhat like the bike was on some grass or some flowers. And you might wanna, if you're gonna lay this, you might wanna get more support for this. And this is just like a little farmhouse look of it. pretty much how it turned out with everything I totally love how it turned out for the little farmhouse look now you know you could change out the basket you guys could add your style I do want to try to post um, a picture of it without the 
foam board just to see how it would look. But I remember buying these from the Dollar Tree and um, I really didn't do too much with them. But I had a, came across the thought to put them here in this little area for decor, which I really like how they turned out. I just put the coasters and then like the back of it was like a contact paper. I think this decor is so cute and it's all for less. These are all from Dollar Tree except the little coasters but I know they do sell coasters or magnets because I got that magnet from it. The basket is from Dollar Tree. The rope is from Dollar Tree. The cotton stems are from Dollar Tree. The foam board. All the supplies I used except this here, aluminum, that was not from Dollar Tree but um, you know you guys could have fun at the Dollar Tree and friends this is another way and this is totally my style I just love this look because I think I added some pink and I just added this sign here and then I changed out this basket I changed these out as well I still have the coaster in the back there but I went ahead and changed these as well. And I mean, you guys could just have so much fun with this easy DIY and it's just so pretty to me. So I brought it over here and as I brought it over here, I told you I wanted to stick something on there. What if, what if you do write some lettering and then glue all these flowers to it like a picture frame and I think this is really nice as well and I'll take you from the side of it I think I really am in love I just love how this turned out I really do I think it screams out spring. These little um, lavender ones, they're from the 99 cent store. And this is how it is without the poster board in the back if you wanted to see that I always like to show you a different way So to me it looks just as good without the poster board in the back And you guys can do this any kind of way That is your style and this is like a front view of it So this is the front view of it, and of course, the side view of it. I think it would be a cute gallery wall addition for the springtime 